you know, we've had at least one fish on every capture that has been, you know, it's kind of you get down to the last one is always the hardest thing. So I'm fishing the front corner, okay. front corner directly underneath my hand. My name is Jay Bradley. I'm the curator here at the National Aquarium in Washington, D.C. Well, we have about 2,500 animals. Uh, most of them are from the U.S. and the territories. We do have a small collection of Amazonian fishes, range from you know small freshwater minnows up to you know I think one of our largest fish is our swell shark or one of our our leopard sharks. I know they're in there. It sounds like they're nice. I've seen them. We're moving the animals because the aquarium is closed to the public this year, and uh, we're having to move out of our current location. Today we moved the electric eel, and it is electric. So that is one of the concerns with that animal is that we could get shocked. Uh, they can put out about 700 volts. So you definitely will notice it, but we want to try to avoid that and you know, do it as safely as we can. So we're using rubber gloves today. They kind of go up to the shoulder. Some of the fish that we have you know, take a little bit more care, a little bit more patience. Uh, the actual catching them out of the exhibits is the hardest part because we've designed the exhibits to hopefully be you know, replicate a natural environment. They have a lot of hiding places and a lot of places for the fish to go. Today we're working on our Mississippi River exhibit, which features a number of species, several species of agar and uh, multiple species of sunfish. And uh, we're mainly uh, working on getting the alligator gar out. Yeah, we weren't really sure what to expect with that. It's a you know, relatively large fish for, for us. Uh, you know, very powerful, very muscular. You know, so we were concerned, you know, and we wanted to take proper precautions. We had a number of people with flashlights, uh, you know, trying to spot fish, and we're trying to drive the fish up to the window with using nets or, you know, using our hands to drive them up to the window where we could have our spotters out front, you know, eyeballing them and then, you know, kind of guide them into the nets and, and get them in. Real murky there. <laughs> About 1,700 of our 2,500 animals are going to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. We're all kind of sad by it. I've been here for 16 years now, and I've built a lot of the exhibits and responsible for bringing in a large number of the, the animals that, that are here and having you know a lot of uh, direct contact with the, the animals that are here. So it's, um, it's, it's sad to see it go.